Before we get into this, guys, I want to make sure that you wear the appropriate PPE for the job, that you're working safe and secure, and that if you're unsure about the job, to get someone who is licensed, insured, experienced to do the work for you. These videos I make are for entertainment purposes only. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we're gonna remove the cotter pins. These ones are already previously installed. Basically, these wheels are done. As you can see, they're just kind of, they're just, they don't even look like wheels. Not, not even able to hold air. So, So what I do is I hold the, uh, the cotter pin. This is when you want to reuse it. Usually it's best to just snip these things off. But in this case, we're going to reuse it. Considering the last video, I had brand new cotter pins and I poorly demonstrated. Okay. They're a bit difficult. That's why you have two. And there you go. It's removed. You want to keep the retaining washer somewhere safe. That should just slide off. And that is the wheel in its magnificent nestness. The next part of this is to grab the wheel you're going to replace it with, which would be this one here. Make sure it's oriented the right way. Hopefully, I didn't get a wheel that was too big. And no, we're good. Yep, we're good. So put the retaining washer on there. Just gonna check to make sure you can see. Yep, you can see. So the next part of this will be to slide the washer or the uh, because the ring is smaller. It's a bit of a pain. There we go. So we have you on those pliers. A little bit of finesse. Now that that's done, since there's no cap on this, this is why we hold it. And that's good enough right there. And that'll hold the wheel on. Now for the next side. So as per normal fashion, this wheel is done. As you can see. We don't want to even use it. We really want to replace it. We just want to, well, yeah, it's going to replace the, uh, the tire. It's not worth it. So these will be a bit difficult, but if you're good, you'll be able to reuse the cotter pin. I've actually had to reuse the cotter pin on an ATV once. This was back in the day when I was just a wee lad to uh, replace the tie rod that broke off. It was a very memorable experience that I could have avoided. Just a little bit. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a persuasion tool, aka a hammer. Would have been nice if I kept that one upstairs there. You know what? I'll use a sledgehammer. Brilliant. Oh, it's fancy having that on the wall there. Beautiful. Still in camera view. So we still have enough for the. Uh... So basically, there's a 
pinhole right here for the pin. And again, it's going to be tight. That's why we have these hand tools. Oh yeah, we forgot the washer. So before we put it on, I have to put the washer on. It makes it even more tight. Let's see if we can do this. Mosquitoes are coming out. Okay. This is a bit awkward because uh, Okay, washer. I dropped the pin. There it is. Okay, we could probably just make it. Okay, so it happened what I thought would happen, that there's not quite enough room for this. There we go. So, one of the things we can do in this circumstance is to straighten it out. So now the metal is quite well fatigued. This is not something I normally would do, but because it's a dolly, I don't really have to worry about anything bad happening. I want the washer to stay on there. I've done this, done this on boat props too when I didn't have a pretty appropriate uh, cotter pin to get home. That's another childhood memory. I didn't even have fancy tools back then. Okay, so basically, and you can bend these by hand too. Like, you see me, now if I hold the axle, there's one way, there's the other way. Oh, and that will hold. So, we just repaired our dolly. The red and blue kind of matches in a way. Then again, anything really goes well with red. Yeah. The wheels go straight. Isn't that nice? They hold air. It needs a new paint job. Clean it all up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one.